Hey, this is Dirty Text Encounter, and I want to state that before the review gets started, um, to go check out Unranked Chevron's video on Fighting American Issue 1 and Issue 2, or go check out Just Some Guy's video. He covers all three, both awesome channels, recommend them, go check them out. And I'm doing my review on Fighting American issue number three. The cover draws us to Fighting American and Speedboy fighting mafia looking gangsters. I wish he fought mafia looking gangsters in the issue, but he did not. But the artwork on the cover is still good. Here are all the people involved in the issue. We begin with Chaos Lad meeting Fighting Americans enemies. They aren't very receptive to him. And he gets slapped in the face by the leader. And he punches back. He tells them that he murdered his uncle, Professor Twister. And tells them that Fighting American is in the future. And talks about how his how he has a plan for them. It then segues to Fighting American, Speed Boy, Special Agent Rutherford at the diner. Ooh, the Art is still hit and miss. That child should not look like an old lady. Even the waitress's face is a little bit off. Better than the child, but you know. And so, you're talking to people who's getting distracted by the waitresses. And they're trying to figure out what Chaos Lad's plan is. Then we go back to Chaos and Slat's plan. He sends various goons into the future. I think it was in 1968. Everything you see here. 1973, 1984. And you see the progression of change. Until we get to the until we get to 2010. And we learn that Chaos Lad is also Madam Chaos. They killed their old boss. My guess is that they considered his way of thinking obsolete. And they became very rich, which you will soon see. So we head back to 2017. And well, yeah, there's his uncle in a jar. His old rivals are wanting to get revenge on him. And so, there's so many words you don't seem to be allowed to use in the future. That line, we can figure out what the conversation is about. Not only was Fighting American telling Agent Rutherford about how things were done in the past, Agent Rutherford was telling him how things have changed in the future. We get the, we get a little joke here. And she calls him a little pervert, but if you know this from the art, he is looking away, so. Fighting American realized that he was pointing at something else. Which then leads to a fight. With casual damage. Fighting American says a one-liner. Defeats enemies. And he... Controls triumphantly. He talks about what... About how... Chaos Lad is now Madam Chaos. And... How... These two invested into Silicon Valley. 
but you can still see that he doesn't understand a lot in modern culture like you think silicon valley is something with mining this leads to paparazzi coming lots speed boy is enjoying it a lot and he decides that what the american people need is a good old-fashioned superhero we learn that Adrian Rutherford is dating someone or is married and seems to be having some troubles because Hun hung up on her. Agent Rutherford wants him to not reveal that he's in the dead body of his brother. He reveals it and the we get to a laptop being smashed and Madam Chaos being very angry and that's the end of the issue overall the art is still hit and miss there were some good shots some shots that are not so good the dialogue is understandable it's pretty good and it actually makes sense like how you find the American called Nixon vice president because Nixon was vice president under Eisenhower in the 50s so that is historically accurate I also like how chaos led becoming Madam Chaos is just there not forcing your face it's not a crucial part of the story or explaining it it's just, it doesn't feel shoved in your face. And that's what I like about it. Because the story isn't about why he changed. It's about fighting American in the future, trying to get back to the past. Overall, I recommend the series. The, the dialogue can some. By American can be over the top a little, but it's not a cringe over the top, it's a cheesy over the top. And I find that enjoyable. I highly recommend it. If you haven't yet, go get issues one through three. Issue four is coming out in January, so go get it. Hope you enjoyed. Click the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for watching.